Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. Firstly, as always, big thank you to all my subscribers. This week, I'm going to try my first attempt at resin turning. Now, I've been watching a lot of Ben's Works videos on YouTube, and he makes a lot of little resin eggs with various things inside them. And I think they're great, and my wife thinks they're great, so she's decided I've got to make one for her. So I'm going to put a little Lego figure in some resin and I'm going to turn it on the lathe. Now if you haven't seen Ben's Works channel, go and check him out. He's absolutely superb at what he does. So let's crack on. To start this video, I've got two pieces of oak that I've glued together. I've roughly cut them round on a bandsaw off camera so the video doesn't get too long. I'm going to sand them down now so they fit inside this plastic cup. Right, I'm going to use some mica powder to colour the top of this. But what I'm going to do is just get a quick coat of green acrylic paint just as an undercoat. I would have liked to have used some Australian Melly Burl for this project, but when I priced it up, it was just too expensive for me. So I'm using what I've got, and I'm using a bit of oak. My base coat's dry, so now I'm going to mix some green mica powder with some UV resin paint it onto here and set it with the torch Right, this bit's finished, so next I need to glue on my little Lego figure. And this is a little Wily e. Coyote. Now, when I put it in resin, I want to minimise the chance of bubbles. So I'm going to put some masking tape over his feet and fill these little holes with UV resin. And then I'll be ready to glue him in place.
Next, I need to mix up some resin. In fact, no, next, I've got to glue this into the bottom of here. Then I've got to mix up my resin. And then I can put it in the pressure pot overnight. Right, that's my resin mixed up. So now I'm going to pour it into here and I'll put this in the pressure pot and come back for the next stage. Right, I'll come back when it's time to take it out of the pressure pot. I've taken it out of the pressure pot. It looks nice and clear. The cup has distorted in certain places. I've got these little flat spots going round. But I'm going to put that on the lathe anyway. So what I'm going to do is take this out of the cup and mount it on this waste block. And I've marked this with some pencil lines to try and get it as centre as possible. These flat spots, like I said, should be okay when I turn it on the lathe. Alright, I'm going to glue this in place using some 5 minute epoxy. Off camera I've just quickly sanded this flat. I've scratched it up, so now I'm going to mix my epoxy, put it on there and glue it together. I've mounted my resin on the lathe, I've hot glued a piece of wood onto the top, now this is my first time ever trying to turn resin, so I'm a bit nervous and I'm a bit excited, but let's see how I get on.
it. I keep getting some pretty big catches. So this turning resin stuff's not as easy as it looks. But I'm going to persevere and see if I can actually finish and make something out of this. But that's quite deep that one. And the last thing I want to do is while turning is remove part of the uh, Lego figure. So I'll get back to turning it and see what I can do. Right, what I've done is I've increased the speed on the lathe. I've put a fresh bit, carbide bit, on my turning tool. And the more round it gets, the easier it's getting. And now I'm just trying to remove these last couple of chip arts. And hopefully after that, I can start shaping. Right, done all my shaping, shaped the base, I've managed to get rid of all the signs of any catches on the resin, so what I'm going to do now is start sanding. First I'm going to sand the base, I'm going to start with 80 grit, 120, 180 and then finish at 240 and then I'll move on to sanding the resin. I'll start sanding the resin now and I'm going to start at 320 and work my way up through 400, 600, 800 and then I'll switch to wet sanding. For the wet sanding, I'm going to use 2000 grit, 3000 grit, 5000 grit, 7000 grit, and 10,000 grit.
I'm going to try and polish the resin now and all I've got to hand is some Autosol metal polish so I'm going to give it a go Right, I'm almost finished. I'm just going to sand the bottom. Once that's sanded, I'm going to put some masking tape round and I'm going to stain the wood with some Bry Wax Medium Brown. So that's it finished. I had a few problems with that when I first started turning it on the lathe. I got quite a few catches, which were a bit frustrating. But I've persevered, and I don't think he looks too bad. Now, of course, what's Wiley Coyote without his arch nemesis Roadrunner? So the next time I do one of these. It's going to be a little road runner, and then my wife will have the set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, and as always, thanks for watching.